welcome back guys to my new video on level chemistry topic okay in this video we will be discussing how to write the formula of a compound all right in my previous video i have discussed detailed on oxidation state all right so i have written this again for you all all right so you have to know the oxidation state of the metals and the non metals so that you can form a compound okay so here is the oxidation state list all right so these are the metals and non metals mostly used in o level okay and uh, today we will be uh, writing the formula of these four compounds i have written here these four compounds we will see how to form the formula uh, you have to just understand the basic rule it's very easy all right let's let's start with this ammonium so the first compound is ammonium chloride so uh, from here you have to find which is the symbol for ammonium the symbol for ammonium is nh4 nh4 is the symbol for ammonium so first you just write nh4 here nh4 and what is the symbol for chloride chloride is cl okay and uh, you write uh, let's give it a different color as blue suppose or chlorine I'll, I'll give blue okay now uh, write the oxidation state of ammonium uh, below uh, what is the oxidation state of ammonium it's plus one so I'll be writing the oxidation state of ammonium here okay and uh, the oxidation state of chlorine here okay remember something while forming the formula you don't have to write the plus and minus sign you don't use the plus and minus sign okay you don't use them clear then uh, so when you write the oxidation uh, numbers below just cross multiply them you have to cross multiply in the first example since both the oxidation number are same they get cancelled out they get what cancelled out okay so by cancelling so what is the remaining NH4 is remaining and Cl is remaining all right so what is the formula NH for Cl you just write it together understood so remember something if the oxidation numbers are same of the metal and the non metal they get cancelled out okay so this is your formula for ammonium chloride all right now let's go for calcium sulfate what is the symbol for calcium Ca and what is the symbol for sulfate it's SO4 right here you can see uh, sulfate is SO4 all right see this is here is the technique if they have a different oxidation state you cross multiply them what you cross multiply them this three will go to the oxygen and this two will come to the aluminium so it will be like al 2 o 3 understood it will be al 2 o 3 understood so that is the trick here see here what happened uh, they both of them they had same oxidation number so as a result we cancelled out okay but if they have different oxidation state you um, you don't cancel out but there is a cross multiplication cross multiplication problem okay now let's go for the uh, last example like aluminium sulfate so what is the symbol for aluminium al and what is the symbol for sulfate? SO4. You have to remember SO4 is the symbol of sulfate. This 4 is not the oxidation state. Students they confused with this. This 4, this SO4 is the this is completely SO4 is the symbol of sulfate. Okay. Now what is the oxidation of aluminium? Aluminium is 3. And what is the oxidation of sulfate? It's 2. See. So again they have different uh, oxidation state. As a result, what they cross multiply. okay now uh, le now what is the formula al2 so4 3 see this 2 comes here and this 3 comes here now this is the reason i have chosen these two compounds why because here you can notice after oxygen we didn't put any bracket after oxygen we didn't put any bracket here we didn't put any bracket but here you need a bracket why because here oxygen was a single element present a single element oxygen is joining with uh, aluminium but here what happens uh, here sulfur and oxygen they combine together to join with aluminium as a result you have to include a what bracket understood 
Clear? Let's take an example of am- another example. Ammonium. Ammonium clo- uh, carbonate. Suppose ammonium. What? Carbonate. Clear? See here also the same thing. Ammonium. What is the formula? NH. Four. What is the formula for carbon? CO three. What is the oxidation state? One. What is the oxidation state? Two. Now what is the formula? NH four. CO three. See here you don't put a bracket for CO three. Why? Because there is a, this one. Understood? This one comes after CO three. Okay, so when there is one, you don't need a bracket. Clear? If if the number is above one, like two, three, or four, then only you put a bracket. If that's a, uh, if if that's not a single element, if that's a compound. Understood? Clear? So uh, basically, you have to know the oxidation state. Then only you can form the uh, formula of any compound. Clear? Now. Okay, we can discuss many compounds like that. Do you know the formula of water? Water is H2O, right? So there is hydrogen in water, there is oxygen in water. So uh, hydrogen has an oxygen state of one. Water oxygen has an oxygen state of two. C cross multiply. It's H2O. This is the reason the form uh, the water has the formula of H2O, right? You can ask many. Compounds like that, uh, like we can discuss about um, ferric. Let's go for this ferric chloride. You will find compounds like this. What do you mean by ferric chloride? In my previous videos, I have just said that ferric. This is your ferric. This is your ferric. Iron with plus three oxidation state is your ferric. So what is the formula for ferric chloride? First of all, you write the formula of iron as uh, the symbol of iron, Fe, and chlorine. So you give a oxidation state as three, and chlorine is one. Cross multiply them, right? So the formula is FeCl3. Clear? Understood? So in your IGCSE book, you you will find whether it's uh, the ferric chloride or there is another way of uh, finding. Formula like you will find even in this manner. Like they will just write iron two oxide. Suppose this is another example. They might write um, ferrous oxide, or they might, or they might as I mentioned, iron two oxide. So for this, what do you do? Iron here, oxygen here. Iron two. See this is Roman letter. If you see, you have to understand that is the oxidation state of the element iron. Okay, so here you write two, and oxygen we know the oxidation state is two. And see the both the oxidation states are same, so they cancel out. So what is the formula? If O. Understood. So this is the basic technique. You have to understand. If the oxidation states of both the elements are same, then they cancel out. If they are different, there is a cross multiplication. That's it. Understood. Understood. And the way of writing the compound. If you get iron two chloride or oxide, then you have to understand iron has a oxidation state of two. If there is iron three, right? If it is like this, iron three, then the oxidation state is three. Clear? Even you might get uh, zinc. Zinc even there. There are two types of zinc. Copper. If you get like uh, zinc. Two, then you have to understand that the oxidation state is two. Clear? Understood? Understood. All right. That's, that's all. all. The, if, first of all, you have to um, memorize or by heart it. And by heart the oxidation state of the metals and the non-metals. Then only you can form any formula. All right? Hopefully, I have covered everything regarding forming the formula of a compound. Okay. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe. Okay. Thank you.